Glory to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I have yet an amazing word of encouragement for you. My brothers and sisters, I do believe some of you have been delayed in life and you do not know what's the cause of your delay. You have moved from left, right, and you have gone to places that you even do not know where you're going. You don't know what's the cause of that delay. You don't know why you are in that position for a long time. But I've come with this word to encourage you with. My dear brothers and sisters, the word is, the delay is for a reason. So before you start complaining, before you start asking questions, I'm here to tell you that that delay is for a reason. Not to everyone, but to some of you who are watching right now. Your delay is for a reason. You may not be getting what you desire at this moment because God is protecting you. My brothers and sisters, ahead of you could be enemies waiting to strike you. People that have heard of your movements. People that have been watching and studying you. In other words, monitoring spirits. So they have predicted your next move and they have sent up a camp to attack you. Sometimes the delay is important. Sometimes in your life, you need to move slow. Moving slow does not mean that you are not going to reach your destination. No. Sometimes you have to slow down. And that slow, at that time when you slow down, it may seem as though it's a delay to you. But it's necessary. I want to read to you a scripture that is in the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 17 to 18. Exodus, chapter 13, verse 17 to 18. And it reads, Then it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God did not lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up in orderly ranks out of the land of Egypt. Have you heard that powerful word? That the scripture says that then it came to pass. When Pharaoh had let the people go, brothers and sisters, before even you come uh, and complain about the delay, the scripture says it came to pass that Pharaoh let, had let the people go. It is going to come to pass that whoever has been holding you will let go of you. Whatever captivity that you have been in, Whatever uh, misery and pain that you have been going through on a daily basis, a time will come, a time will come, it will come to pass that that Pharaoh, I may not know what Pharaoh is in your life. It may be death, sickness, a problem, predicament, chaos, confusion, lack of direction that is in your life. Or witchcraft could be, could be your Pharaoh. A witch could be your pharaoh in your life, causing pain. But a time is coming when they will let go of you. Now the scripture says that God did not lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. God did not lead them to the way of the Philistine, to the land of the Philistines, even though that was near. That was the shortest road. But God led them to a long road. There was a reason. Because God saw it and said, lest the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. Some of you, if you are led by that shortest road, if you get that quick breakthrough that you have been desiring and been crying over, you may forget about God. How sure are you when God gives you that a breakthrough, when you get married? How sure are you that you will still remain 
praising God. When you become rich, how sure are you that you will still praise God? Some of you will forget God. Not just that you just forget, forget, forget Him, but you reduce your service to God. The things that you used to do for God, you no, you no longer do them. If you if if you are praying maybe three times a day, five times a day, you may reduce your your prayer times to two, to one, or to none. So, my brothers and sisters, sometimes it is important to go through what God is taking you through. Remember, you are just going through it. Whether it is a storm, it is a fire. There is a reason as to why you are going through it. Some of you, there is something that God's, God wants to show you about you. The fire will reveal who you are. Scripture says that God is a consuming fire. Sometimes the fire is necessary. When you go through fire, there are things that need to be burned. Things that are not of you. Characters that are not of you. People that have been around you, sometimes when they see the fire, they will flee. And that is good for you. Because where God is show, taking you, there are some people that you are never supposed to go with. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a word to bless someone. That that delay could be for a reason. That delay God could be preventing you from premature death. Sometimes you get into a car. Some of you have experienced this. And maybe you are late for work. You are for, you're, you're late for an appointment. You get into the car. You start your car, but your car is not working. Not knowing that even those seconds, those minutes that you are delayed in the car, God has prevented you. He has averted death. He has prevented you from a car accident. He has prevented you from losing your life. He has preserved your life, in other words. My brothers and sisters, this word, I believe, is a blessing to someone who is watching you right now. I hope. You have been encouraged and remember to keep sharing the gospel with someone. Until next time, Shalom.